Now, Duccio, and generally he's known as Duccio, uh, really represents Sienese art at its apogee. And he's going to create something called the Maestra, uh, which is this massive altarpiece. Now, what is an altarpiece? It is a panel that is painted or sculpted representing a religious subject placed above and behind an altar. If it's two panels, it's referred to as a diptych, three panels as a triptych, and multiple panels is a polyptych. And this would be a polyptych because each of those individual pieces is its own panel. But in this case, we're actually focusing on the center, the virgin and child enthroned with saints. And by the way, we've seen a number of these so far. So we're not looking at a new subject. Now, the Sienese believed that the Virgin had brought them victory in 1260 over the Florentines. What you're looking at is actually the main panel of this much larger piece, which has been subsequently disassembled. The work is really in the Byzantine tradition. Now, why? I mean, we've already seen Giotto. Why do we seem to have this step backwards? Well, it's more than likely as a result of the contract that was written. Now, artist contracts at the time were not simple things. It wasn't something where it would say, hey, paint a Madonna and child and, and make whatever choices you want. Typically, the patron or the church or the monastery, whomever, would have a very specific contract. We want Mary and Jesus, and we want them to look very similar to this other painting that we've seen, and we want the following people around it, and we want them looking at the Christ child, it would be very, very specific. So even though Duccio might be able to sit there and compete in terms of realism with Giotto, he's not able to do so here, quite possibly because of the artist's contract. Now, that being said, he does relax the strict frontality and rigidity that we tend to see in the more Byzantine style. Really, this work is halfway between Giotto's interest in naturalism, as we saw with the Lamentation, and the Byzantine tradition, the old Byzantine tradition, before we get into the Italo-Byzantine. This is not, of course, due to lack of skill, as we've talked about. So we see those elements coming together. We see, for example, the faces uh, looking other ways. We have Jesus, who is looking more and more like a baby. It is still a very odd-looking baby, I'll give it to you, but uh, a baby. The poses are a little more naturalistic, a little more Jato-esque, but the gold background, the stacking of the heads, that is strictly Byzantine. So it's kind of Duccio being stuck between a tradition and a style and trying to do his best to advance things while still getting paid. Because, of course, that is the basic problem of every artist throughout history. How do I push the bounds of what I'm trying to do and still find acceptance, i.e. payment?